So I found this uh, weed cleaning box in the dumpster here at the dojo a few weeks ago and I was studying it and I thought it was kind of nicely made. Kind of a white metal, I don't know what it is, I'll have to clean it up a little bit, but it screws on there very nicely. So my plan is to uh, discard the grinder part of this. I don't need this bottom piece here at all. I just want the neck of this and this threaded joint and the cap. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll set the lid aside and there's a screen in here and it's, there's a ring that captures it. So we'll pull that ring out of here like this. And there goes the screen, I can go. And I'll take this over to my metal lathe and I'm going to just cut this piece out. <laughs> So I got this thing uh, cleaned up at the lathe here. This is the piece that uh, cut out of there, so that'll be disposed of. And I've got a pretty nice round sleeve. Here's what I have in mind. Uh, I thought I would take that metal sleeve and cap and inset it into a wooden urn or vessel that I'll turn on the lathe. So let's get to the wood turning. I've picked out this piece of rosewood. It's a little bit large, but uh, we'll get it turned down here. It's got a lightning strike right here. It's going to be a real challenge on this little lathe. I've been through the grits. It feels real good on the inside. This might be one of the best hollowing jobs I've, I've done on a piece like this. So the next step will be to cut a recess in here so that I can inset the threaded joint. Uh, the neck of this thing is really way too long, so off camera I'm going to cut this thing off. I'll probably cut about a half an inch or so off of this. And I have this tool here that I just love for this kind of work just a screwdriver well we got ourselves a little rain out there so I moved indoors and uh, went over to the metal lathe and I cut about a half inch off of the neck of this thing so I still have the sleeve and the threaded part and I'm so close to having a good fit I can almost stick it in there not quite so we're just going to take off just a few thousandths here and try to do it one more time Let's see how that does. Well, there we go. Uh, that is just exactly what I had in mind. So now the wood on the inside of the sleeve here uh, needs to be cut back because I, I want it to be smooth with the, uh, the inside surfaces. Here. That's really good. I think I can take this rim out of here now and um, seal the inside of it. Go ahead and put some sealer on here and get started on the finish of this thing. I applied about a dozen coats of spray lacquer and I stopped every two or three coats to wet sand. My metal lid is a little bit plain, so I'm going to dress that up. And uh, what I'm going to use, uh, this is some uh, paint chips from the Cadillac Ranch in Amarillo, Texas. Some people call it Fordite, but this is not quite Fordite. And I've got another video on how I do work with these, uh, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
glue this to the top of this metal box with uh, cyanoacrylate gel. I am using a medium gel uh, super glue such that you can get at the dollar store. I love this stuff. I use it all the time. And uh, I go with the medium on things like this because it gets up in the nooks and crannies and gives you a better bond, I think. And I'll just put this piece up against the metal here and I'll have some squeeze out that I'll have to deal with. And I'm going to clamp that with this Irwin clamp here. Not too tight. That should give me good pressure and I'm checking it all around to make sure that it overlaps my lid. And it does seem to do that. So we'll let that sit for about an hour and... Okay, let's see what we have here. Looks pretty good. I'll be turning my paint chip in the wood lathe and I'll be clamping it in my chuck. So I want to protect the threads with this painter's tape here. Now the process of preparing this Cadillac Ranch wood chip, I don't go into in a lot of detail here in this video. I do have another full length video that's just dealing with this process. If you'd like to see more, I have included the link in the description for this video. It's been wet sanded and washed and it's real nice and dry here. So I'm gonna just go back to my good old super glue gel and I'm gonna use that as a finish. So I'm gonna just put a little on my paper towel here and I'll just apply it all over this and then I can wet sand this when it's dry. So I'm kind of working it into all the little crevices that there may be. And I'll do this a couple of times. I'm using some 800 here. And I'll take the grits down. Keep the paper nice and wet. And I move from that 800 just to a, to a 2400 here. I'm loving it. I have a real nice fit between the metal sleeve and the wood. So I just used a very thin course of the super glue all around and set the neck in place. So this was a lot of fun to do. Um, found this in a dumpster and thought about it for a long time before I came up with this idea. And I might do a few more of these. This was kind of satisfying. Have a great day. I do with the rest of this weed box here. Well, it was the best day of the year when my brother gave me this awesome piece for the dojo. Check it out.